Uh, yo, what's up, man? This is a very specific question, but a very cool question. I don't know about the appeal of this video to anyone else, but uh, my, my small audience here of Illumos users are, uh, you know, the fork of open slayers. Basically, this user asks, hey, Dave, I remember back you talked about setting up WireGuard on one of your Solaris machines. How did you do it? And comment gets cut off with ask about WireGuard Go and does the Go implementation of WireGuard support Solaris or Alumo specifically? Uh, so to answer your question, I have it running, I say on Alumos because it's the Alumos kernel, but I am virtualizing Linux. So I virtualize Void Linux. It's a hardware virtualized instance, so it's using Beehive, um, which is like, you know, it comes from the free BSD world. But basically, um, I have virtualized Void Linux, which is running the in-kernel Linux kernel implementation of WireGuard. So that's how I have my server set up, so like my phone and my laptop connect to it or whatever. Uh, it's sort of my VPN when I'm outside of my house. You can think of it that way. Uh, I talked to my buddy about this when I first read your question, and because um, he does like a lot of like WireGuard stuff. Um, he uses TailScale. And he told me, uh, don't quote me on this, but I think the tail scale version that you can pull has like some native Alumo stuff in it. So it should just work on your machine, assuming you're running Alumos and not Solaris. I can't speak for Solaris. Um, I think it might, I, I don't know. I don't know the specifics on that. Um, but as far as I know, the WireGuard Go implementation does not support Illumos. There was like an issue for it a couple of years ago. It looks like it's been closed by the maintain maintainer of it. There are some packages available. So if you're running like SmartOS as your distribution, there might be a version of it available. I don't know about all the specific versions. I don't run the Go implementation of it. Like I said, I just virtualize Linux. I kind of cheat. I virtualize Linux and then just let the Linux implementation handle it for me. Uh, so yeah, that's how I do it.